Hi, I'm Kei. I live in Tokyo. And for the past five years, I was into Flutter. And I even opened Flutter community called Flutter Daigaku in Japan. And uh, my main job have been that Flutter Daigaku community. I make my life through that business. And uh, I haven't done any client job for the past three years. So yeah, I'd say thanks to Flutter, yeah, my company was profitable. However, recently I decided to, I will not only focus on Flutter, but I focus also on React Native or other frameworks for mobile app development. I'm planning to make my Flutter community change to the more general mobile app focus community. Here's the reason why. Cloud Code, Codex showed up early this year. Of course, I use them. I use them every day and uh, I develop my app using Cloud Code. Sometimes codex. Yeah, after that, I figured out. Maybe every people figured out. Just coding is not that useful skill because AI can code. So even I've been doing Flutter business for the past five years, even host some events. Yeah, I dedicated to Flutter. I spend a lot of time to Flutter, but yeah, I decided to move to more, yeah, general app development community or talking on YouTube. Even so, like I said, I've been doing mobile app development for the past 10 years. 10 years is so long. I think even AI can code and uh, AI can make, make your app, but still there are some mobile app development specific difficult issues out there. I think web development is more popular than app development in terms of using AI coding, like Cloud Code, Codex. Yeah, that is because deploying iOS app, Android app are still tough. Yeah, it's like yeah, not only making your app, you should prepare some text and screenshots for app stores and uh, you should pay some membership fee for Apple and Google, and uh, sometimes they reject you. So you can't release your app sometimes if your app is not appropriate for App Store or Google Play Stores. It's still tough. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of specific knowledge in this app development world. So I think I still have some advantage of doing mobile app development for 10 years. To wrap up, yeah, I decided to make my Flutter Daigaku to something like App Daigaku, mobile app focus community, is my next planning. Yeah, that's what I thought recently. Yeah, it's been a while since I posted some YouTube videos to this channel because I was, this is personal things. My baby was born on April and uh, I was hosting a um, Flutter event called Flutter Ninjas on the end of May. And then I posted some Japanese YouTube videos and updated my vibe recording English learning app and a high logs crossfit recording app. And, uh, and recently, yeah, like I said, I decided to move to the, not on Flutter, but on yeah, mobile app development generally. So I've studied computer science stuff and uh, I've studied React Native stuff yeah, for the past two or three months. Because for, as for Flutter University, uh, Flutter Daigaku, the only I have to do was just making Flutter tutorials and uh, running a community. But yeah, like I said, AI can code. So just making a tutorials for Flutter doesn't have any value already. Only creating React Native tutorials is also not so worthy. But combining Flutter and uh, the X native and the computer science stuff and uh, like some marketing stuff for app development like ASO and uh, how to decide what to make for your personal app have some value. So I think I have this kind of knowledge sheets as well as Flutter and uh, just coding stuff. That's what I thought now. And uh, I think I improved my English skills a lot. So I think I should focus on this English YouTube channel and uh, my community should be more global 
community. Yeah, louder than only Japanese domestic community. Because, yeah, even not only Flutter, but also mobile app development generally, it's very niche community. So if I focus on only Japan, um, yeah, know that it, it's not that big as a market. In English, it's so bigger than only Japanese. And, uh, yeah, it, it just sounds exciting. Yeah, not only a community which has a lot of different countries people. Sounds so interesting. And uh, I think it will be so informative for people. Yeah, because we live in Japan and uh, yeah, we know about Japan, but I don't know about US, India, your European stuff in terms of app development and uh, app store optimization or things like that. Yeah, to exchange this kind of information on my community should be so useful, informative. To wrap up, um, I decided to change my Flutter YouTube and uh, community to app development generally. And also I focus more on English, but I speak English and uh, put some Japanese captions. Should be good, I think. That's what I saw now. That's it today. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna post some videos about yeah, app development stuff, um, like AI coding stuff from now on. So yeah, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Please look forward to my new renewal community, maybe from January 2026. Okay, thank you. Bye.